In order to have the best results from this intuitive structure within ourselves, it is necessary for the individual uh, to relax away from false testimonies as they first arise to his perception. The individual must be without prejudice. He must not distort the impulses and instincts that arise within himself. If he is able to quiet the testimony of the frontal mind, he will then allow the intuitive faculty to move into domination of the circumstance. But while he is constantly interfering, he is not able to gain the assistance that he needs. All persons can be more intuitive than they are, but to be this, they must take their ground firmly upon the operation of universal law and be ever observant and mindful of the various conduct patterns of those around them and the conduct patterns which are arising within themselves. Otherwise, they block the intuitional process. One of the more common things that happens in connection with intuition is that it is likely to be most vibrant and vital while the body is at rest. This is why a large part of our might, what we might call archetypal dreaming, dreams that have meaning, come to us from the coordinator. They come when the conscious functions of the mind are temporarily set aside. They come to us usually not as words, not as the, the appearance of some person, for the coordinator is not a person. They come through symbols, through various forms and patterns, through hunches, uh, through sudden realizations of things which we do not normally comprehend. Uh, we even can find this in the world of science, where a scientist has built into the coordinator a mass of evidence the coordinator will sort it out when his own conscious mind cannot. And as a result of this, the scientist may wake some morning with the answer to the problem he has been working with for years, simply because in a moment of complete re repose, the coordinator came through. We have all of this uh, type of uh, phenomenon constantly, and we uh, pay very little conscious attention to it, but it can be uh, very, very important. Uh, the uh, problem of the intuitional recognition of circumstances and conditions, it can include, for example, an individual recognizing certain problems of his own health, but not able to diagnose them. He has a feeling that something is wrong. He has a feeling that his health is impaired, but he cannot put his finger on what is actually wrong. Here again, the coordinator is moving in to try to assist the individual. Now, behind all this, there might be a kind of moral issue involved. Perhaps this individual who doesn't feel good has for many years been violating the principles of law and health. He has been thinking badly, he has been eating badly. He has failed to take proper care of the body. This fact is listed in the coordinator, and the coordinator can tell him at any moment just about how long he can get away with the mistakes he is making. And if the man pays no attention to this warning, it becomes a prophecy, and he gradually succumbs because he has failed to remedy the situation in himself. The same thing happens in family life. Family relationships become brittle. And warnings come from the coordinator that unless attitudes and relationships are changed, the family will be destroyed. It will be broken up. Some are wise enough to try to do something about it. They are harmonizing with the coordinator which is merely telling them the law relating to the subject, a law based on experience and dramatized and vitalized by ages 
of human testimony. If this is not heard, however, if the individual continues in his way, then whatever was the disaster that might have been, it becomes the disaster that really occurred. Also, the problem of the coordinator plays quite a part in the latter part of life, where very often the coordinator first informs the individual that his physical existence is going to terminate in the near future. This may not be supported by any medical evidence, but the coordinator has available a thousand times as much information as any clinic or laboratory could find or could gather. The individual's inner life is aware of the happenings. Also, through the five sensory perceptions, we get what might be termed the historical context. We find out what has happened to others. We find out what has happened to empires, to kingdoms, to rulers, uh, to various professions, to peoples, to class and social subjects. All this, there is a very deep and long historical background which is called tradition. The coordinator receives from us every day some evidences of this tradition. It also is aware because of its own integrating process. The tradition, like every other part of activity, is governed by laws. These laws operate, and where a new situation becomes identical with an earlier traditional situation, then similar, if not identical, consequences will follow. And therefore, it is perfectly possible for the individual, quietly in his own thinking and in his own reflection, to realize uh, almost prophetically the outcome of almost any situation in which he finds himself. He can also apply this to the fate of nations, to the fate of collective structures, to the rise and fall of industrial systems. All these things are basically set in patterns of infinite and immutable law. The coordinator helps the individual to adjust his own mind to these laws and gives him the final evidence, the final proof of the reality of the situation that is gradually developing. Now there are times when people get hunches that do not work out. The individual, therefore, has to watch constantly to find out how much of his conclusions arise from the coordinator and how much comes from traditional habit patterns within himself. Most persons so live that their relationship to universal law is obscured. They live in a pattern in which they pay little or no attention to the great principles upon which life is built. These principles are invisible in most cases, but their consequences are painly, uh, painfully visible. We have to work with them every day. At the present moment, we are plunging through a mass of what the Oriental would call karma. It is a condition in which, for ages, we have been building contrary to the rules of the game of life. The coordinator knows this, but the individual does not pause to consider. The individual, building largely upon the satisfaction of personal selfishness and ambition, chooses to ignore those truths which might give him a better relationship with life. We find this quite frequently in such simple and imminent circumstances as alcoholism. Uh, the average alcoholic knows that he's an alcoholic or finds out in due time. He knows that he is playing a losing game. He knows that it will destroy all that is best in his life yet he will not or cannot change. And fully aware of the inevitable tragedy, he moves relentlessly toward it, 
until finally it catches up with him. If he survives, perhaps he is a little wiser. This type of decision to do what one pleases at the expense of doing what one should uh, is one of the factors that blocks uh, the intuitive faculty in the individual. We all have it because we all have behind us not only ages of personal growth, but a vast universal complex of factors which uh, subconsciously we accept, even though we may ignore them consciously.